Hey guys, in this video, we will look at a NOT gate, do a circuit with it and see how it works practically. So let's get started. Let's find what are gates in my book. A gate is an electronic device that operates on one or more signal to produce an output signal. It is used to compute data and give output. In this video, we are going to discuss about NOT gate, also known as inverter gate. This is the symbol used to represent NOT gate in a circuit. It is a triangle with a small circle on one of its vertex. There is only one input signal and only one output signal in a NOT gate. There are two possible outputs in a NOT gate, high and low. A low input produces a high output and a high input produces a low output. We will see the results using a NOT gate for which I am using 7404 IC. Taking a look at its data sheet, we can find that the IC houses 6 gates in it. Hence, it is called as hex inverter by the data sheet. We can see the truth table for this gate which matches with my book's truth table. Important voltages are also given. The recommended supply voltage for this IC is 5 volts. For making the input high, we can use anywhere between 0.5 to 5 volts. For making the input low, however, we must connect the input to ground or 0 volts. We can also find the electrical diagram of the gate which consists many electrical components that are responsible for inverting the input signal. Those are not going to be explained in this video. We can also know the data input pins and data output pins in the data sheet using which we will form the circuit on a breadboard. If you are going to try this circuit, then you will need a NOT gate. In this case, we will be using 7404IC from Samsung, the company that had three stars as its logo from 1980s to 1990s. Only by now I came to know that. You will also need some passive components like switch to give the input to the gate, a pull down resistor, two LEDs, one for knowing the input, another for knowing the output some jumper wire to conduct the electrical signal and current, power for the circuit, a breadboard for creating the circuit. After gathering these components, I started making the circuit. After powering the circuit, I got a successful result. When the switch is at low state, the output was high. The output LED glows which means it is working fine. But if I make the switch to go to high state, then the output LED does not glow as the output will be always opposite to the input in an inverter gate. Now to show that I am not actually normally switching the light on and off with a switch, I connected the output of the gate to input of another NOT gate within the same IC using jumper wire and the result was again successful. The output of the first gate is 0 when its input is 1. As its output is connected to another gate, the second gate's output is 1 as its input is 0. So now, both LEDs either light up or they will not light up according to the state of the switch. Just for fun, I connected the output of the second gate to the input of another gate. As an inverter gate always inverts its input signal, the output is opposite to the input. So the LEDs close alternatingly just like before with one NOT gate. That's it for now. In the next video we will be seeing how OR gate works. Until that, stay creative and I will see you next time.